Today on Test Ride, I want to have a serious discussion about Yamaha's venerable Vector LTX and the sweetest four-stroke motor in the sport of snowmobiling. My goal is to uncover what Yamaha is up to offering two snowmobiles in the same segment with the same engine. I tested the Yamaha Vector LTX a few seasons ago before the arrival of the SR Viper. At that time, this was Yamaha's answer to the white-hot 120 to 130 horsepower class, including sleds like the 600 Renegade and the Switchback, as well as the Vortex Skidoos and the 1100 Arctic Cat. No matter what brand snowmobile you hold the Vector up to, it has never given anything up in terms of quality, finish, durability, and resale value. The Vector's history is as good a lineage as any snowmobile has ever possessed. So why did Yamaha do a deal with Arctic Cat to produce another sled in this segment powered by the identical 1049cc twin cam engine? Clearly, the snowmobile marketplace is driven by the appeal of the latest and greatest sleds, and the Vector was getting a little long in the tooth. Yamaha's new SR Viper is a completely different response to the 120 to 130 horsepower segment. The SR Viper is considerably lighter than the Vector and does not offer Yamaha's electronic power steering on any variant. The Viper also presents riders with more mainstream rider-forward ergonomics. Essentially, the SR Viper and the Vector couldn't be more different. Knowing all this, Yamaha continues to proudly offer the Vector LTX. We think for as long as they continue to offer it, there's a segment of snowmobilers who will continue to buy it love it, and be satisfied with its unique personality. The Vector LTX's most compelling and endearing feature, in my opinion, is its amazing single coilover shock rear suspension. This skid, in particular this longer rail 137 version, delivers a ride that is fully comparable to current state-of-the-art suspensions offered by Skidoo and now Polaris. There is no way you can ride the Vector LTX on a moguled up trail and come away anything less than impressed. Let me make this crystal clear. The new SR Viper with its slide action 137 inch skid frame cannot be compared in any way to the plush, bottomless, and transfer reactive response of the pro action skid used in the Vector. For Yamaholics in the know, this is more than enough reason for them to order up another Vector. Here's another reason the Vector remains popular and much loved among Yama groupies. The Vector is among the highest resale sleds in the industry. In fact, both the Vector and its close cousin, the Apex, command higher resale jing than just about any other snowmobiles, period. What's even more remarkable, and it relates to the fact the Vector hasn't changed much the past seven years, is the exceptionally high resale values attached to five, six, and seven-year-old Vex. So let's leave the warm and fuzzy talk behind, and not just because it happens to be the coldest day of the winter. What's it like to wick the loud handle and rail some twisties on the Vector? Vector trail handling is still good. What does that mean? The sled has been incrementally improved over the years to include electronic power steering, which fights inside ski lift by allowing the pilot to input more precise commands. The addition of Yamaha's tuner skis also contributes to a more on-center and less nervous feel while blending the steering inputs from the EPS system to produce much gentler turn-in and thus less inside ski lift. This particular vector has Yamaha's revolutionary performance dampers installed. This cutting-edge technology virtually eliminates harmonic vibrations in any snowmobile chassis. With a pair of Yamaha performance dampers installed on the vector, we experience the nicest overall chassis feel and predictable handling sensations of any previous vectors we've tested. Here's one that'll get you. In all of our testing of the vector, it'll actually outrun the new SR Viper down the lake, despite its heavier chassis. We think this reality is something that Yamaha might want to work on in the future. It's worth talking about the 1049 Yamaha Triple because as of right now, this happens to be the best running, most un-four-stroke, four-stroke engine in the snowmo biz. This mill emits a pleasing exhaust note from twin rear exiting pipes, while the spread of power and unending top end whale of this twin camera has no equal, except the SR Viper and a bunch of Articats. 
There's a couple of things that we don't love much about the Vector. Probably the biggest is cramped ergos. Regular viewers of snow tracks know that my svelte profile tends to improve the looks of snowmobiles I sit on. However, in the case of the Vector, I feel cramped, folded in half, and like I've got a big gut, which clearly I do not. We would also like to see Yamaha develop their own roller cam secondary clutch. We think the Vector and the SR Viper both suffer from slow back shifts as a result of Yamaha's sliding shoe secondary design. There is a positive with this design and it is exceptional belt life. The SR Viper and the Vector both kiss their belts gently for thousands of miles before needing replacement. So, will the Vector continue to be offered by Yamaha given the overwhelming success of the new SR Viper? We can't answer that question. However, we would recommend if you want a copy, you better pick one up soon. If you like this video, post a comment and tell us what you think. Then click on this link to subscribe to Snowtracks TV here on the YouTube channel.